Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you here again. Today's video is about chemotherapy and hair loss. Uh, it is a little bit of a loaded theme, you know, but I know there's a lot of you out there that are going to face or are facing hair loss from chemo now. Um, so, you know, sending here my, uh, you know, well wishes to you. If, you, if you're facing or a family member, I have um, a pretty good friend of mine who is going through that unfortunately now through, uh, through breast cancer and uh, she was the reason that I'm recording this video. So, uh, you know who you are if you're out there, um, you know, wish you the best and uh, this hopefully will be uh, useful for you, okay? Mm -hmm. a little bit about chemotherapy and hair loss. As we all know, chemotherapy is used to treat cancers, right? Various types of cancer. Sometimes you use chemotherapy uh, via IV, sometimes by mouth, sometimes both. And uh, so this is important um, to understand because there's not, there's different types of chemotherapy. And we're gonna talk about that in, in the video here. So how does chemotherapy work? First of all, when you have a tumor, the definition of a cancer, right, or a tumor's growth is it's accelerated, uncontrolled cellular growth, right? So the cells of your, you know, breast tissue, your glands, or your bowel tissue, intestinal tissue, whatever, starts to grow uncontrollably. And so you have a high rate of what we call mitosis or multiplication of these cells usually through a mutation, genetic mutation, and they start to grow and then you form the tumor and then you have to treat it. So chemotherapy agents are designed to target cells that are actively growing or multiplying. So it's delivered through the mouth, I mean by pills or whatever, or through the vein, and then it goes into those cells that are actively multiplying. A lot of times though, chemotherapy agents are not specific for the tumor they're treating. In other words, it'll go to all over the body, and it'll target most of the cells that are actively growing. And if we look at hair cells, they are the fastest growing cells we have in our body, right? So the hairs are constantly growing, the cells are constantly multiplying, and that's a target for chemotherapy agents. Not all of them, some don't affect the hair. It all depends on the cancer that you have, the type of chemotherapy that you're gonna have to have. So hopefully you have one of the types that doesn't affect your hair. But uh, for example, breast cancer chemotherapy, um, so most of the solid tumors require some kind of um, IV chemotherapy that may affect your hair. So, but if you, if you have to have chemotherapy, first of all, ask your oncologist if your hair is gonna be affected. They're gonna tell you much more than I know about it, of course, if, it's gonna, if you should expect some hair loss or not. Again, as I mentioned before, not all chemotherapy is the same. Some of them, depending on the type of tumor that you have, are not gonna affect your hair, uh, or some are gonna affect less, some are gonna affect it a lot, you know? So if you are having chemotherapy that's going to affect your hair quite a bit, you, ha you can minimize your hair loss during your chemo sessions. And so I put here some um, resources for you. I will list them in the description of the video below so you can follow them. Nobody is sponsoring this video. I'm not being paid by any company. I don't have any financial interest in these things at all. But I have a couple of things I wanna to talk to you about, which is how to prevent and minimize hair loss in chemo. So there are some devices you can use. It's, they're called scalp cooling device. Basically what they do, all of them, the principle is you cool the temperature of your scalp. And so when you cool, the blood vessels or capillaries, they will close, right? When you get exposed to cold weather, your peripheral capillaries, they close down in reaction to the cold. And so same thing happens to the scalp. It's a large surface area, thousands of hairs, and a lot of little capillaries. So if we can decrease the scalp temperature to a safe, low temperature during your chemo session, the blood is not gonna reach the follicles as much and therefore the chemotherapy agent will not reach your follicles and that can drastically minimize or prevent hair loss altogether. Now there are different devices that can be used, some more uh, common, some simpler, some more effective, some less. I'm not gonna go through all of them here because as you can see here, a quick Google search on cooling cap for chemo, it's almost a million results, all sorts of devices, right? 
from very simple and cheap to more complex ones. So do your research, but I'm gonna get you a, a couple of sources here for you that are more scientifically based so it can help you. There is a company called DignityCap, okay, again, Nobody's sponsoring this video. They're not paying me for this. I'm not making any money. It's just that I know the company. They provide the best system for your needs for chemotherapy. Uh, some uh, oncology and infiltration or chemotherapy centers around the country have the DignityCap machine. Um, if you go to their website, dignicap.com, you can have a list of all the the practices or the oncology centers that have their machine available for you. So maybe that'll make a difference for you when you pick where you're gonna have your chemo. Of course, you have to check for insurance coverage. I don't know, so I'm not gonna venture into that, but they are available in a, in a lot of uh, cancer centers around the country. So if you go to their website, there's a tab there where it says locations. You can click on there based on your location. It'll tell you around you which oncology centers have these. The Dignity Cap machine, it's a big machine. You can actually treat two patients at one time. So this patient here on the right of the chair, sorry, your left, my right, can actually uh, be treated at the same time as the other patient. And the computer here controls the cooling. So it basically circulates cool water around some channels inside the cap and it'll cool your scalp slowly so it's not uncomfortable so you're not gonna feel um, the cooling effect of it so they can bring it to a low temperature very safe it stays there during your infusion once the infusion is done it slowly climbs the temperature to room temperature so it's a very comfortable way of doing this and very effective there's a lot of studies that show the efficacy of this product in both minimizing when or preventing hair loss for chemotherapy so i would encourage you to look at their website just to find a clinic that offers you that's near you and maybe talk to the providers to see how you can uh, enjoy that and how can you benefit from that okay if you don't have access to any of these there are other sources that talk about different methods and how to do it um, this is the american cancer society i will put the the website links down in the description below as i said so you can go in there they have a section that discusses cooling caps uh, for hair loss and there's a lot of good information there another good source it's called breastcancer.org uh, that has also a page about these cooling systems so you can uh, you know can read about it and maybe find out what works best for you so in conclusion i hope this information was helpful to you if you or a family member are going through or will go through chemotherapy talk to your oncologist about the possibility of hair loss with it and discuss your options to prevent it as well uh, use the resources that i'm providing to you here we wish you all the best and uh, hope that uh, the information here will help you preserve your hair. One thing I didn't mention in the video that I should, most of the time the hair that's lost from chemo will grow back. Sometimes it'll grow back a little bit different, maybe a little bit more wavy, a little bit more curly, but a lot of times people recover most of their hair. So don't, don't uh, think that this will be permanent, okay? But if, you, if, I cat, if I caught you before you go to the treatment, maybe this can help you and hopefully, hopefully this can help you avoid or minimize the hair loss as much as possible, okay? If I can be of help, please give us a call. I can do a consultation for you and guide you through the process. Consultations are free. Uh, just call us and we'll schedule and I'll be happy to help out when whatever I can, okay? If you like the videos that we're putting out, give us a like down below, Click, uh, subscribe to the channel so we can, uh, you can help us out and we would appreciate that. And with that, I'll leave you here. I'll see you next time. Take care and good luck.